No matter what information I gave you, it wouldn't matter simply because you don't have the mindset, you don't have the mental patterns to actually take information. Even if I gave you everything, step by step by step, how to become a millionaire on a silver platter, you still wouldn't be able to reach it. And the simple reason is this, your brain and your mind is simply not ready to handle success. Maybe you've started to visualize the things you want. Maybe it's been in your imagination for a while, but reality of actually making success happen and understanding how it feels and what it should look like and how you should think about it versus where you are at right now. And the reason you're not where you want to be is because of the four reasons that I'm going to cover in this video. I'm gonna share with you the four most important mental models that I made to take myself from welfare and being a little kid in this little poor town to moving to Miami, making millions of dollars at the age of 23. As soon as I finished fixed these four problems that I had in my own mind, and I'm sure that many of you do as well, success, money, and everything I ever dreamed of started coming to me much, much easier than before. So without further ado, let's jump right in to number one. Tip number one is to completely erase the limiting beliefs that you have around money from your mind. Obviously with the situation that I come from, money was a touchy subject, right? I'm asking my mom if we could get this at the store and her telling us, no, we literally can't afford that. We can't afford that kind of milk. We can't afford that box of cereal. Or hey, can I get new shoes for school? No, I'm sorry, we can't afford that. Money was a very, very touchy subject for me and I'm sure it is for a lot of you guys as well. Like I remember even when I dropped out of school in 2019, $500 was my rent. I literally went across the street when I dropped out and I thought that was the most amount of money in the world. I was like, how am I going to get $500 to pay my rent? And then when I saw people online saying this business, this business can make you 500, a thousand, two thousand dollars a day, my subconscious didn't believe it because my beliefs about money were that five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars was a lot of money and it was hard to get that. So as soon as someone tried to tell me, oh, you can do this, you can make all this money, I didn't believe it. Subconsciously, my mind simply wouldn't allow me to believe that was in the realm of possibility. And to me, this is a chronic issue that a lot of you guys are facing because people will see someone like me, for example, will say, hey, you can make ten thousand dollars a month taking calls for cool companies. Oh no, it's a scam. It's not a scam. You don't believe that it's possible because you've never seen it before. You've never touched that amount of money. You've never seen someone make that kind of money with that kind of ease or with that kind of skill. And by doing this and assuming that everything's a scam or that's too good to be true or no, nah, that's impossible. You can't make a thousand dollars a day at 20 years old. You automatically disqualify yourself from ever, ever being in the realm of possibility of doing those sorts of things. And once I was in the inside and I was kind of looking backwards or looking out, $500 a day is the easiest thing ever. That's like one phone call that's commissioned from one deal you close in 30 minutes. You have 24 hours in a day, you sleep eight of those, you have 16 hours left to take calls and you can't make $500, like then I understood it. But to people on the outside and to you guys and, and to even my past self, it was impossible. So on my journey of going from zero to 5K, then 10K, then 20, 30K a month as a closer, and then I was like, I wanna make 100K a month, and then I wanna make 200K a month, whatever, I had to erase all those limiting beliefs about money. So what I want you guys to do, erase all the beliefs that you currently hold about, oh, that's a lot of money. That's hard to make. That's impossible. Like erase all that from your mind. I've met people that do millions a month, millions a week, millions a day, and it blows your mind. But as soon as you can see it and it's tangible, then your mind subconsciously starts to believe, okay, it's possible. And as soon as that happens, my friend, you can do it too. Tip number two is realizing that your situation is actually the greatest advantage that you have in life. In this life, unfortunate or not, you are dealt a certain set of cards. If you like it or not, that's the only set of cards that you get. And you are the one in control of what to do with those cards. You can complain about it, you can mope and whine and bitch about it, or you can do whatever you wanna do in this life because life really is the ultimate video game. I did not have the best cards starting out. If you guys don't know my story, I grew up single mom. My father was abusive, beat on me and my brother. We grew up in welfare. I didn't have internet. I had to move to college at 18 to get internet for the first time in my life, like Wi-Fi. I didn't have a cell phone till I was like 17, like all this kind of stuff. When you look at it from the outside, there's no reason that I should be a successful young man. There's literally no reason. However, I was dealt a very shitty set of cards. And I said, you know what, F this, I'm gonna go create my own story. I'm gonna go do what else I wanna do. And honestly, this whole journey started at about 18, 19 years old. I'm 23 now, so four or five years, and I go from zero in welfare to millionaire, retire my mom, live in Miami. Five years, that's like the duration that people go to school for to get a bachelor's degree. So what you need to understand is that I looked at as my greatest advantage. Every single time I go up against somebody in business, my age, my class of business, right? They got in about the same time as me. I fucking destroy them because they cannot take the stress that I can take. They cannot take 
the mental torture that I can take. They just cannot bear things as long as I can because it was forced upon me for my entire life. The deck of cards I was dealt was horrible and that's my greatest advantage. And that's what I want you guys to understand is whatever your story is, whether you got beat on by your dad, you grew up poor, you're from a third world country, it does not matter. Even you grew up in a lush, plush life and now you're soft and weak because of it. Whatever your situation is, you have to flip it into being an advantage for you. Like Kanye West says in a couple of his songs, he's like, hey, being bipolar is my superpower, right? Being crazy and creative is my superpower. I'm an artist because of it. The same way you have to flip your situation around. So I don't care what it is, guys, but I want you to take that situation, wear it with pride, have a chip on your shoulder and understand if you come from a bad place, you come from a bad background, a bad life, the people that you're going to compete with in the open world and the open market, think of it like a video game, is player versus player. If you're harder and tougher and can endure more than this guy, you will destroy him in nearly any competition. They may start further ahead. They may start with more money, more resources, more connections, but the willingness that you have and the hard work and the pain that you can take without breaking, it doesn't even compare. So use your situation to your advantage instead of bitching about it. Tip number three is dopamine detox and learning how to kind of rewire your brain to use dopamine to your advantage. So guys, you've heard monk mode from Iman, you've heard dopamine detox, you've heard all this. And what I want you to understand is in this modern society, all these companies and these tech companies and these softwares and everything is weaponizing your own dopamine reward system against you. So basically when something good happens, right? You complete a task, right? you do something hard, you complete a workout, your brain releases a chemical called dopamine. That dopamine is supposed to reward your brain and make you wanna do that thing again. We're very simple creatures, we have monkey brains, okay? So with that being said, if your dopamine is being used against you, that means every single time you do a bad habit, you watch pornography, eat junk food, you consume a lot of sugar, you play video games, whatever it is, you're rewarding yourself for doing bad things. So what you need to do is rewire that system. You need to completely reset your dopamine and it's gonna suck. You're gonna feel like a zombie. You're gonna feel no happiness, no pleasure at all. Get rid of your phone, get rid of social media, turn your phone to grayscale mode so that you don't even see color, don't watch TV. Like you gotta go hardcore with it. And we'll have a completely another video, full blown how to do this. But if you can rewire it and then start to build it back up with, okay, I sat down and I worked for three hours today, dopamine hit. I did a hard workout, dopamine hit. I ate good food, dopamine hit. Soon, you won't even want to drink. You won't even want to go to a club. You won't even want to watch pornography. You won't even want to do these bad habits because you've rewired your system to only like doing good stuff. That's why I don't go club. Clubs to me, literally, it's not like a discipline thing. It's literally so boring. I don't like it. I only get dopamine now from doing like activities and a little bit of danger or a little bit of thrill to them. Driving really fast, fighting, spearfishing, diving 40 feet under the ocean and seeing sharks and stuff. The gun range, like that's the only stuff that gives me true pleasure and dopamine now because I've reset my brain from getting it from cheap places. And that's cool and all, but the biggest point of this is if you can enjoy the process, you can enjoy working, you can enjoy sitting here at your desk for eight hours a day taking sales calls, then you're gonna win in life. You're on the right path. Instead of forcing yourself to do it, and like, oh, I gotta sit here and take sales calls, I gotta do this work, I gotta do this. If you can enjoy it and really rewire your brain to want to do it, you're gonna be more successful, you're gonna be happier, and you're gonna make way more money especially if you're in sales, closing a deal and getting paid and actually like, bam, I closed a deal, commission. That was the single greatest dopamine hit that I think I've ever had in my life. And I still miss it because obviously like I have companies now, but I'm not the one closing the deal. So I'll just see the Slack notification. Oh, we closed the deal, cool. It's not the same, okay? So rewire your dopamine, train it to want to do good things. And it is a massive advantage to you. Tip number four is creating positive feedback loops. And this kind of piggybacks off of the dopamine thing, okay? So once you rewire your brain and you're actually getting satisfaction from doing these things, you wanna kind of gamify your own brain and your own mind again on top of that. So it's called a positive reward system or a positive feedback loop. So for example, one of the things I take great joy in buying is like stuff for hobbies. I love pew pews. I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. I just bought another one from scratch. I bought all the pieces. I built the whole thing myself. I have suppressors coming in the mail once I do the tax stuff and everything here in about March. So I'm going to have like insane pew pews that I can go play with and I can have fun with and they have suppressors. It's cool. That's a hobby. Or for example, boxing. I'm taking boxing super serious again. I'm getting locked in. I'm getting dialed. I have wrestling shoes that I've been boxing in. Now I'm going to go buy some really nice expensive boxing shoes as a reward for doing the thing. If I'm running a business on my laptop and I'm doing what I need to do, I'm making some money, I'm hitting my goals, I'm disciplined. I'll go buy a Mac style MacBook. I'll spec it really nice and it's a reward because these rewards are advantageous to 
you. It's not like, oh, I did good. I can go eat junk food. That's a downward spiral. An upward spiral is like, oh, I'm working hard. Cool. Let's get a better tool to work harder, to do more. That is what we call a positive feedback loop. So set little rewards for yourself. Be like, hey, if I hit this goal this week, I'm gonna go upgrade my gym membership and go to the best gym in my city. I'm gonna go to the best cigar lounge in my city. I'm gonna go buy a $100 cigar. I'm gonna go buy a new watch if you're at that level, right? I'm gonna go buy new clothes. Then eventually that's gonna level up to cars and it's gonna level up to houses and yachts and whatever. And your brain is rewarded for doing the right things. And you have objectives and milestones in your life. You have to gamify life. Guys, life is literally a video game. I say this all the time. I can't stress it enough. In a video game, you get dopamine hits and you get reward and fulfillment from new milestones, new area of the map unlocked, all the objectives in the map unlocked. Awesome. Cool new sword. Okay. Cool new gear, whatever. You can do that with your real life. Oh, new clients closed. Awesome. Go buy this. Oh, this done. Go buy Rolex. Go take myself to dinner. Go take a vacation, whatever it is. Okay. Positive feedback loops coupled with a good dopamine detox and rewiring your brain are going to make you very successful. It's going to make life more fun and literally hitting your goals means boom, new reward unlocked. And what I recommend to you guys as well is literally create like a list, a reward list with milestones and KPIs so that you can kind of see the objective marker and the progression. And when you hit it, boom, unlocked. I get that thing. I go buy it. So that is another massive tip for you guys. And like I said, from the beginning, even in my own program, Closer Cartel, the students that come in, we've had over 3,500 students at this point, which is a lot for an education company. I can tell immediately which ones are primed for success and which ones are not. It doesn't matter the skill. It doesn't really matter the training. It doesn't matter the tactics. That's all easy to learn. But the people that have the right mindset and they have the right mental thinking and they have the right mental patterns and belief systems, those people have a massive advantage over those who do not have those things. So in this video, I showed you guys how to remove your mental beliefs and lack of beliefs about money. I showed you how to turn your situation into an advantage, no matter what it is. I showed you how to rewire your dopamine system for good and how to create positive feedback loops. So guys, I want you to take action on this video. I don't want you to just watch this entertainment and get some dopamine from it. Actually put this to use, write this stuff down and implement it into your life. I'm rooting for you guys. Until next time, have a good day.